Oh. How much time do we have? Uh, 60 seconds. Oh, that's not good enough. <laughs> I think we still have the intro, too. Yeah, that's not really accurate. It's fine. We'll we can we'll go over a half we'll hour. It's not a big deal. Great. <laughs> this is great. Beautiful. Beautiful. We still have the intro. <laughs> Stacy, you need it on set in two minutes. Be right there, darling. Oh, hello. I'm A-list celebrity and talk show host superstar Stacy Dennison. You may know me from such things as Mix and Mingle Season 1 or Blurry Shopper and She Did It for the Money. That's not a thing. Oh, that's right. It was Supermarket Slaughter. That's not a thing either. It is a thing. It's on IMDb. Look it up. Well, anyway. Join us for season two as we mix and mingle with some of the Bay Area's best bartenders and I take you on a roller coaster of a good time as your resident and craft cocktail connoisseur. You mean you like to drink? Well, yes, obviously. Why else are we here? Bon, I cannot work like this. These are amateurs. Where are my red M&Ms? <sighs> red M&Ms? Anyone? Anyone? Anyone listening to me? <sighs> anyway, on with the show. Hi there, welcome to Mix and Mingle. I'm your host, Stacey Dennison. And tonight we have a very special episode planned. It's our big Thanksgiving episode of Mix and Mingle. Gobble, gobble. Gobble, I, gobble, <laughs> Stacey. <laughs> I have with me our guest for tonight, Dave Russell. Hi, everybody. Welcome, Dave. Welcome, Stacey. <laughs> So tonight, we have a little bit of a different episode. I am actually going to be taking the bartending reins. So uh, Dave here is going to be just entertaining us. I am. I'm actually just drinking. He, he is a I'm very entertaining drinking. and amusing individual, oh, so I've invited start him along. Two more of this. <laughs> and he is also a drink aficionado. I so. like drinking. I think aficionado has... Yeah, we'll go with that. I like aficionado. All right. I like that. Let's go with that. <laughs> Well, let's go ahead and get started, Dave, yes, because please. I have some delicious recipes to show you tonight. Explain with words. Okay, so the first recipe I have is for an apple cider mimosa. Now, this is a great drink for starting the day of Thanksgiving, for, you know, warming up, pre-gaming a little before you have dinner with the family. What time should you start drinking this drink? Um, as soon as you wake 9 up. 9 a.m. No. No. If it's as soon as I wake let's up, Let's agree to disagree. No. So... As soon as I wake up, 3 p.m. <laughs> it's a 3 p.m. drink then. So we're going to start off with uh, about an ounce and a half of apple, uh, ap caramel apple, sorry. That's good. <laughs> caramel That's good. apple vodka. I like it. So I'm going to yeah. measure How is this uh, hosting and uh, doing the work at the I, same time? Um, I'm all over the place. Yeah. So uh, forgive me if I get a little loopy here. Because I'm going to let you know, listen to this I'm is really difficult for me. <laughs> you are so. really... <laughs> Making me look bad. So we're going to be taking um, Jaume Seurat uh, Cristalino Brut Champagne. Say it again. <laughs> Jaume Seurat Cristalino oh, Brut Champagne. Wonderful. Uh, that is actually my pre preferred champagne to use in this. However, you can use any brute. Yeah. So, uh, the essence of man. <laughs> so you're going to fill your glass here. Let me see. If, make sure this is on camera. Uh, I, I like a nice healthy pour. So yeah. I'm just going to keep filling. You can fill it however much. You want to do about two thirds of the champagne. And then we're going to top with about a third of, of the champagne the, bottle. I mean, that's the way I do it. But, uh, <laughs> and then a third of apple cider. Okay. So we're just going to top that off like that. And then, you know, if you are feeling a little fancy, which well, um, I... Clearly we are. Well, tonight I'm not. Oh, really? <laughs> I dress like a college professor. I'm fancy. I know, and I did dress up well, with my turkey did. hat. You did. 
Uh, but if you want to be, sorry, go thank ahead. you. Um, if, if you wanted to be fancy, you can always rim this with a cinnamon sugar rim. That's also very delicious. Uh, however, if you're going to be drinking a bunch of these, which uh, I mean, let's face are, it, you yeah. are on Thanksgiving. Yeah. Um, that just takes Baker's time. Dozen. So uh, <laughs> it's so simple, so so simple, and so delicious. So that is the uh, morning time drink for Thanksgiving. All right. Well, we'll hey, good that. show. It's so <laughs> stay right oh, there, sorry, Dave. We sorry. have more to come. So our second drink that I am going to be showing you how to make today yes. is going to be one of your favorites. Oh, please explain. So uh, we're going to be doing a mule. And this meal is a special Thanksgiving day Oh, meal. okay. It's a cranberry meal. Oh. So you can't have a mule without a copper mug. Everyone that is true. This. I mean, this it is, is a hard and here. fast rule. Yes, exactly. It just, it makes it look so classy. Yes. It really does nothing to the flavor, but it makes it look classy and beautiful. Each dent represents a time we've had a drink out of that. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and <laughs> fill our copper mug here with ice. Good. You doing like one cube at a time with that? Uh, yes. Yeah, that's good. I'm, I'm doing as many cubes Gingerly as ridges. rest each ridges cube in, in there. Yeah. It's like uh, a, a, mother, a mother gator <laughs> just gingerly taking her <laughs> offspring to the, uh, you know what, just go ahead and pour. All right, so then we're going to be taking our cocktail shaker. Yes. And we're going to be filling that up with ice, too. Don't, don't, that's three cubes, you're killing me. <laughs> uh, tonight, tonight. You know, you're doing nothing right now. I am. You're. <laughs> I'm just hating and naysaying. You're just. <laughs> you know what I am? I realize what I am right now. I'm yes. that, like, old, washed-up actor that you get on, like, those, like, infomercial shows. Yes. Like, I'm a face you might recognize, but really, mm -hmm. you do all the work. You sell the product. You're the focus, and I'm just here to go, really? Oh, that's amazing. He's hit the nail on the head. Oh, I know I sunk so low so quick. Sorry about that, Dave. No, I'm in. Let's do more. <laughs> all right. So then we're going to take, ooh, one of my favorites, mm. Code Rum, who is actually one of our sponsors. Keep to the code, guys. Uh, so this is a delicious uh, silver rum that we're going to be using, made by Code Rum, our sponsor, and also uh, my favorite rum, if I'm going to be honest. So um, last week, I do want to say we had a question about how one can find Code Rum. How can one find one Code One can rum? find Code Rum in most liquor stores throughout Florida. Now, if you are looking for what specific li liquor stores, just go to their website, thecoderum.com, and they do have a store locator on there. And also, you can purchase it online to be delivered to your house. Super easy. Are you saying that if I talk to my computer, they will magically send rum to my front door? Uh, yeah, I mean, not yes. like verbally I mean, talk are, to my computer. Yeah, if you, are yeah. you going to talk to it like Knight Rider? Maybe, you know what? Maybe I'll plug in just one of those <laughs> yeah, nice Alexa. talk to devices. Oh, I wasn't going to plug no, the actual um, product. Yeah. I mean, well, they're not yeah, a sponsor, yeah, so see, I shouldn't have said go. that. There All right. Go. Or Google Home. <laughs> We'll, yes. we'll balance it out. All right. Yeah, there you go. So uh, we're going to take about an ounce and a half of code rum. Now, I like to do a nice heavy pour, so that's yes, a little more do. than... A little more. Uh, yeah, there we go. We're going to be around family drinking this, that's good. so I mean... Uh, no offense to my family, I love you all. Yeah, oh, if we're talking about my family, <laughs> you can pour a little more in there. <laughs> Don't be mad. So then we're going to take uh, simple syrup. Okay. And do about an ounce of that. Do they make bottles of complex syrup? You were gonna leave me hanging on that one, aren't you? <laughs> wow. That silence. We're then gonna Dings. be taking uh, cranberry juice and doing about two and a half to three ounces of that. They have no idea what you're saying, Dave. I'm helping it. <laughs> Man, you really left me hanging on that one. That was Sorry. glorious. No, don't apologize. That was perfect. <laughs> so um, I'm going to uh, confess something, Dave. I oh. um, I lost the top of my shaker. I lost the top of my shaker. So, so what are we gonna? I'm I'm gonna rig something right oh, now. Let's do it. Let's now, do it. if I make a big mess, then um, oh, I'm not cleaning it up. Clearly, why would <laughs> I start it. participating? That's why I have you on the show. Uh, All right. Let's do it. Let's try this out here. <laughs> see the shaking right. music that we do. Well, you're the musician. All right, that's that good. Yeah. That was good. A little girl from Empanema. <laughs> All right. That was good. You didn't spill anything. 
I know. It what? was it was the music. It yeah, was on the music. I don't, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're gonna pour this into our copper mug here, mm-hmm. and we're gonna leave a little room at the top there because we are going to top it with the classic. Uh, Mule ingredient of ginger beer. We're using goslings. I your favorite. Love goslings. Actually, I've I've actually branched out now because I found they made an alcoholic version of ginger beer. They uh, yeah. Say so, what? Uh, yeah, yeah. I was like, <laughs> uh, you mean I can cram just a little more alcohol <laughs> into a mule? Start. <laughs> So uh, we're going to make this nice and pretty, Dave. Please. And we are going to take these sugared cranberries. I love all of this. And we're going to just... Oh, dear diary. I lost one. I lost one. We're good. We're good. Five second rule? No. No second rule. No second rule. No second rule. It's alcohol. Wouldn't it kill? You know what? I'm going to... Oh, and I dipped my finger in pumpkin. This is why we don't have nice things. (laughs) We apologize (laughs) for the lack of just professionalism with pumpkin. That's wonderful. And That's that a is wonderful the looking drink. Product. Yeah. That isn't, is that, great. isn't that classy looking? Dude, so um on a scale of now to now, when do I get to drink those? Um now. Oh, let's do it. That means it's time for mingle. Mingling time! <laughs> Alright, you go oh, ahead, grab that. I'm drinking this one. Go, go, go. Alright. Mm-hmm. 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 It's mingling time. Oh, I like the, yeah, the yeah. sound of that. Cheers. Cheers. Strovia. Oh, fancy. Mm. I can't top the uh, the champagne spiel that you gave earlier, so that was it. That's, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah d- no idea. No idea. <laughs> well, do it again. Still no idea. Let's keep going. I like this. All right. So, uh, so Dave, mm. what do you normally do for Thanksgiving? I drink. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Well, with all these drink recipes, mm. you're definitely going to be doing that this um, Thursday. No, I have. Um, I come from a very like traditional type of family. We do the very traditional like sit down, pass the potatoes type of meal. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sometimes we'll do buffet style if we're running out of room. Mm-hmm. Really, when you <laughs> make sense. Yeah, because the potatoes will be cold by the time they make the first round. But uh, yeah, no, it's a lot of turkey, a lot of very you know. Just basic Midwestern potatoes, corn, a lot of corn. Oh. We eat so much corn. Really? Oh. I don't, I'm a corn snob. I don't want to tell you a disgusting fact that I learned about corn. No, please. Go on. <laughs> I love I'll, I'll save it. You it's, will? It's to do with toilets, so... <laughs> anyway, uh, I'll skip over that story. That's for another time. That's for Mix and Mingle After Hours, perhaps. Oh, is there an after party that we do? <laughs> should be great. Uh, Let's just run long. We'll run long. All right. All right. So um, now you have a large family. You do Mm -hmm. this big dinner. Um, Do do you do any special uh, entree? Do you take part in the cooking? I do. I love cooking. Mm -hmm. Um, It's something I got into, you know, after I grew up. I'll air quote that Mm -hmm. kind of Mm -hmm. dish. Um, Yeah, yeah. No, I really enjoy cooking. And the past uh, three, I'll make up a number. (laughs) Uh, the past like uh, three to five years, mm-hmm. I've been doing. Uh, I try and do like a creative uh, stuffing. Okay. So like a uh, year before last, I did a Cuban stuffing. Um, I did a hala stuffing mm-hmm. with uh, hala bread, raisins. Now, do you come up with these recipes like off the top of your head? You just kind of play around with uh, different ingredients. I'm not that good. Okay. Um, <laughs> I, I, I get a little Pinteresting. Well, so I have a general idea of kind of what I want to do. Like, I mm-hmm. like the idea mm-hmm. of uh, Cuban-based stuffing. Like, we live in Tampa. There's mm-hmm. insanely mm-hmm. good Cuban bread here. There is. It is amazing, and I really wanted to incorporate it, you know? Yeah. I like the themes. I love Cuban food. So I was like, we, someone has to have thought of something close to this before. I found mm-hmm. an old article from a newspaper from, like, maybe 15 years ago where someone... Now, was this article like in your house? Are you a hoarder? No, no. <laughs> yes, but not in my house. <laughs> yes, I am a hoarder. No, this article was not in my house. So okay. There's two different. There's two different subject lines there. Don't bury the lead. Um, no, I uh, I found an article online, but I mean it was still in like article format. That's how old it actually right. was. Um, that it was the only thing I found that was. Close you mean to, to say it. it was not on the internet? It was on the internet, but it was <laughs> it was old internet. 
Like they hadn't updated the actual. Gotcha. Yeah. I'm there. Um, yeah. But... Hi. <laughs> um, no, it was really good. Uh, I tweaked it here and there. There were some things that they had that I wasn't really just into. Mm -hmm. uh, I wanted chorizo in it, so I and I found something else that was for like a Cuban casserole mm -hmm. that had some more of the flavors that I was kind of go to. So I just combined the two. It was a it was a portmanteau hmm. of sorts. Well, that so, sounds delicious. Yeah, I have an idea of what I want it to taste like, mm -hmm. and then I just go around and research and find things that teach me how to build that. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. But I did that. I've I've done that for a couple. I did a pretzel, uh, like a Polish beer pretzel stuffing. stuffing. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So did you take pretzels yeah. instead of bread? Yeah. Yeah. Soft pretzels. Mm. Yeah. How was it? It, it was, was good. Delicious. So what are you making the, this year? With the salt on oh, top. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. Was there mustard? Yes. Yes. Mm. No, but I had that on the side. Okay. I, I had the nice, like, really coarse stone ground yeah, mustard the on the side. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The fancy. Not mustard. Mustard. That's for my family. <laughs> so, what do you have in mind for this year? Or is it a surprise? Is it like it an unveiling? No, no, I'm not that pretentious. <laughs> um, and I actually needed. <laughs> yes. Yes, I am. Yeah. I have patches on my jacket. <laughs> uh, it is. Um, I'm doing an Irish stuffing this year. Uh, so I've actually Are had... potatoes in it? I'm thinking about putting a layer of potatoes in it. Okay. So, uh, soda bread. Irish soda bread yeah. was going to be my base. Okay. Which is so hard to find mm -hmm. in a store. I have called five different bakeries, three different grocery store chains, mm -hmm. nothing. Nobody We're not has naming it. names, We're though. not gonna name names. But if you know where to find a good soda bread, yeah. you let us know. Make well, a little comment below. Oh, uh, you found one. Well, so my mom's making it. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah, um, which is nice because she'll get, yeah. Oh, well, thanks, mom. <laughs> um, yeah, no. So she gets to participate in it. It's, you know, mm -hmm. you get a little like it's more homegrown that yeah. way. I mean, I'm really just lazy to my core. Like I could have made the bread, <laughs> but and she was like, oh, I want to make it. It's really 15 minutes, and I'm like, yes, mm -hmm. yes. Thanks, mom. Well, um, but yeah, I'll do like out. some corned beef. Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe like a whiskey corned beef. Just to see. I don't know. Like, yeah. I, I haven't hit the research well, phase yet. Well, I'm down with anything with booze yeah. in it. Uh, yeah, so, there, there was rum in the Cuban Oh, yeah. rum. Yeah. yeah, That's the magic word. Right. Oh, it's oh, rum. rum. Yay. <laughs> Keep to the count. Yeah, Keep to the count. <laughs> um, yeah, no, no. It's uh, it's fun. I enjoy it. I, I like the creative aspect of it. Mm -hmm. I'm not a baker traditionally. Right. Uh, just because it's more science than it is sloppy mess of taste. Now, I do know that you are a creative person. I'm reasonably creative. I know this creative. about you. Yeah. Um, so, you come from a musical background. Mm -hmm. And uh, you've been in a number of bands. I have. I made a living off it. So, tell me a little bit. Well, I know, but tell them Tell a them. Bit. <laughs> well, guys. <laughs> um, no, I started off, uh, I come from a very, very musical family. Uh, my Both my uncles are insanely talented. My dad was a musician. Uh, he, I mean, that was his like, side job mm -hmm. for years while I was growing up. He was just a drummer in a country cover band and he played guitar Very as cool. well. Um, my uncle played, my uncle on my dad's side played uh, guitar and sang. Mm -hmm. My dad sang as well. Uh, my uncle on my mother's side was a piano player. Mm -hmm. um, my grandmother plays piano. My grandfather played upright bass on uh, on my dad's side. Like, I just come from a long lineage of people that dabble. So, uh, do you, at these Thanksgiving dinners, do you, like, a family no. sing-along? No, thank God. <laughs> I mean, you said you are from the Midwest. Like, we I do. didn't know if you it's, do, like, this family sing-along. Yeah, no, it's not sound family of music. Sing -along. It's not a sound of music okay. type of thing. That's not, that's, none of this works that way. Okay. Thank you. Uh, oh, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Drink uh -huh. break. Oh, do we do drink breaks? So that, yeah, so, we should. So speaking of music, so we would actually, I've been in bands that are known for their drinking, um, but I didn't, uh, hold on, let me finish that thought. <laughs> to the point where we would actually have to call out like a verbal drink break. Mm -hmm. Like the music stops, we stop a song and it's like, oh. it's the archer one finger. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, because you're constantly singing mm -hmm. or like playing something yep. and. Mm -hmm. Yes. So when I started doing this, though, mm -hmm. I was not a big drinker. Yeah, um, that's hard to believe. I know, I know. <laughs> like I did not really like. I had my twenty-first birthday it was a LAN party at my house where we all hooked together computers and played video games. Like, Land. yeah, dude, I'm a super dork. 
Like people <laughs> don't understand what a D and D playing uber nerd I truly, <laughs> truly am, and I love it. Well, now they know. No. Oh. <laughs> This is live. Oh! Hello, everyone. Let him take his drink mm. break. All right, so skipping ahead. You yeah. were in a bunch of different bands. Yes, uh, yes. You got to do some cool stuff with I it. Have, you got to I play have. a couple music festivals. I have. I played uh, South by Southwest that was in awesome. Austin. Um, and my dream, I, I have two like bucket list dream venues, and I played one of them. I've always wanted to play the Knitting Factory in New York, which I got to do. Mm -hmm, nice. The other one is the Viper Room out in California, yeah. which I have not gotten to do. Which I probably, based on my age and my He's current... He's about 110. I, oh, you nailed that. You could work for the carnival. That's good. Do my weight. Wait, wait. <laughs> now do my weight. Five pounds. No. <laughs> well... Yes, oh, I don't um, have a career in yeah, carnival yeah, uh, bartering. Damn it. <laughs> Looks like it's just going to be this from now on. Oh, well. Oh, hey. Sorry, Mix and Mingle fans. Hey, hey. Stravia. Jomé sera. Kersalino. Jomé sera. Slancha? I don't know um, what that means. Prost? Yes, I do know that. Uh, prost. Prost. Eh. Ah. Mm. Um, no, but I get... Salud. Salud. Oh, salud. <laughs> Sorry, but it's just us shrinking. <laughs> no, so this is the most ridiculous show we've ever done on Mix and Mingle perfectly. as of yet. Don't listen to her. This is a wonderful show. You're having a good time. We're drinking. You're welcome. Um, you should be drinking. You, you should, should be making drink. the recipes. Anyway, Do I digress. Do you require them to drink? When we want? Yes, and to drink responsibly. Yes. Please drink responsibly. Or drink irresponsibly and don't leave your house. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Uh, all right. So where were we? So you were in bands. Mm. Uh, you've also been in uh, some theater. I do a little theater as which well. Which is how I know you. Yeah. I like to perform. Yes. I am, well, I would have never guessed yeah, that. Yeah, it's some real subtle On a ham. Yeah. <laughs> I need to get uh, you a ham hat. No. Um, no, I really, like, I'm, like... Theater people view me as like a band guy, and band guys mm -hmm. view me as a theater person mm -hmm. because I'm kind of just stuck in between yeah. the two. I'm way too outlandish to be like one of those cool brooding musicians, mm -hmm. and I'm not outlandish enough to be like a true like yes. full on jazz. Hands. I have seen you do jazz hands. Though. I do, yeah, but <laughs> sarcastically. It's like so. Hold on, and then you've also been a performer at Bush Gardens. I was. Right? I was a performer. I did so a. So what did you do there? I so I started as a costume character. <laughs> Which one? I was Gina, the giraffe. Well. So when they now we know that Dave likes to cross dress. I do. I do. Not well, just as a female. A female giraffe. But as a giraffe. I'm a furry. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. It's out in the open. They paid me bottom dollar for it. I like to um, get my guests to really open up and yeah. reveal secrets Man, on the show. You're like drunk Oprah. I love <laughs> yeah. this. I love Oprah. I love you, Oprah. I love you. I know. I know you're watching. I know you're. <laughs> um, no, I, I I did that for a long time. That was probably like two or three years, mm -hmm. and then they started doing a percussion show. Okay. And I was like, "Who? I want to do that." Yeah. They're like, mm, "But you're you're a Gina the giraffe." Like <laughs> they totally. They pigeonhole me as Gina the Giraffe. I'm like, guys, How come on. How dare they? I, I have a lot to offer the artistic world. <laughs> I'm not just Gina the damn giraffe. Um, but I did. I auditioned and like I fought. I fought hard. It's so. It's funny now that mm -hmm. I'm old and not in that career. I mean, I fought yeah. tooth and nail to get the hell out of that costume. <laughs> And you did. I did. I did it. So I did. A, it was like a stomp. I don't know if you know yeah. the show stomp. It was like a stomp mm -hmm. type of show. Just uh, five drummers running around scaffolding, trying Fun. not to die and play a. Uh, that's that was not even remotely. Are, are you going to show us a clip from it? Are you going to do? Yeah, that? yeah. A uh, roll of thirty-two. <laughs> oh. We We're a little low budget here. Yeah. Roll, roll Mix 33 and then. Roll 33. If you would like to uh, be a sponsor for our show, yeah, yeah. send some donations. Yeah. And clips of me, really. <laughs> Can we just randomly roll clips of me throughout the entire um, first series run? Second series? Third series. Second. Second. There we go. Sorry, I wasn't pausing at that. I was pausing oh. at your ridiculous question. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So anyway, I think that our viewers are... <laughs> Just completely confused now. So how about we go ahead and make a couple more drinks? 
Sure. I'm sorry I offended you, Gina the giraffe. <laughs> Clutching my pearls. <laughs> let's go make drinks. All right, let's go make drinks. Can we drink while we make drinks? Yes, of course. Good. That's what we do on Mix and, and Mingle. Mingle hey? All right. Season two. Season two, Mix this and Mingle. Great. So, um, I bet your rap parties are amazing. <laughs> It's it's basically um, me and P. A. Dumb drinking. <laughs> what a stretch that must be. In a dark be. room. <laughs> so, anyway, oh, uh, next oh, we, we have. Oh, we use the blender. Oh no, I I'm ahead of myself. I'm so oh, sorry. We don't get to use. Wow. Oh. Throw me off, Dave. <laughs> All right. But how did I throw you off? This is great. This is great TV. All right. So it's our even third drink internet. is a. Uh, a Bourbon pecan pie. Oh. So these next two drinks, folks, are for, um, you know, you're a little full from uh, Thanksgiving dinner. You are. You don't want to, like, eat a heavy dessert. No. So um, if you want to drink your dessert, which is what I'm about I mean, to show you. You drank your brunch. You might as well drink you your You drank your brunch. You drank your dinner drink. This is your dinner drink. Yeah, here. yeah. Uh, now I'm going to show you two delicious dessert drinks. Mm. So we're going to take a rocks glass. We're going to fill it with some ice. Yes. Yes. Uh, then we're going to take, let me see here, let me, let me get associated with oh, my bar. Oh, do you think? Yeah. Okay. It's been a while since you've been here. I know, yeah. I know. So, all right, we're going to take, let me. Oh, here, Just, I can read it my, Oh, no, I got no, it, got I got it? it. All right. So we're going to do an ounce of the, uh, Jim Beam vanilla. Oh. Oh. Again, I encourage healthy this pouring. Two ounces. So we're gonna do well. We're gonna do. Can we give fun names for like oh, heavy pour I'm ounces, spilling. like I'm spilling. Well, there we go. There's a nice healthy pour for you. Yes. All right, and then we're going to do. This looks amazing. An ounce of the Evangeline uh, Praline Pecan Liqueur. Ooh. We get fancy. Mm. <laughs> we should do some music with this. Can you provide the music? Um, what do you want? Like how how. Uh, uh like something like my, jazzy. Like, uh, like a ping, 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 ping. Ooh, I like that. Okay. Then we're going to take a half ounce of vodka. I'm using Pinnacle regular vodka. Love it. <laughs> now you're just going to give us a nice little stir. Is that it? And that's that it? it. That's it. Nice. There we oh. go. Now, if you want to be fancy, you can garnish with a little uh, <laughs> praline. I don't have any on hand, but uh, oh, oh. you're 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 good. You're good. Okay. <laughs> can I drink this? Yeah. Is this go against for it. Rules? No, you're good. That's you're great. Good. So, <laughs> how is it? Oh, that's good. Is it? Yeah. You're well, not just lying to the audience. Oh, I would lie to the audience. I'm a terrible, <laughs> horrible human being. The good news is, I don't have to. It's really good. Oh, good. Yeah. It's, it's a really good, like, you know, it's a fun, kind of relaxing dessert. Mm -hmm. like, like a nice hey, after dinner, you yeah. You can talk with it. You mm -hmm. can indicate people are like, John, look, you know, I don't agree with anything you said at Thanksgiving, but we're, we're related. So. Mm. It's perfect mm -hmm. for your family Thanksgiving. Mm. So our I last. I don't know which one I like more. I, they're both good, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah I know. So um, uh -huh. I will tell you because I've been sampling both drinks excessively the past week. Um, <laughs> Hashtag no judgment. <laughs> the uh, the bourbon pecan pie really does taste like a liquid pecan pie. It does. It's very sweet. Oh, it's good. Like that, a pecan yeah, pie. It's like a smoky sweet. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's mm -hmm. really good. It's good. So our last drink is another dessert drink. Oh no. And this one is actually like if you have a fun family. Mm -hmm. So I have a fun family. Okay. One Thanksgiving we did a. Um, uh, Mexican themed Thanksgiving. Okay. So um, we're not, yeah, we're not from a Midwest family like you yeah. are. So, I mean, we do do the traditional. You are but, from Mexico. Uh, I understand. But, <laughs> I am secretly Mexican. That's something that you don't know about me. That's great. Um, so we did a Mexican themed Thanksgiving and we uh, actually had a pinata and it was a lot of fun. Um, so my family likes to do kooky, crazy things like that. So if you have a kooky, crazy family like mine, yes. um, you can make these pecan pie shooters. Yes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take... Wait, what kind of shooters are they? Er, oh, I'm sorry. I said pecan pie. You did. I'm still on pecans. No, uh, that's good. Pumpkin pie. That's good. Who loves pumpkin pie on Thanksgiving? We are so basic at hearts. 
Let's do some shots. All right, so what you're gonna wanna do first is prepare your shot glasses. Okay, so, how do we do that? Can all I right. do one? By the way, yes, of course. So uh, knowing that you are musical, I'm using yes. my hard rock cuff, oh, I'm very hoity-toity. Very hoity-toity. So we're going to uh, rim it in marshmallow fluff. I know that seems a little weird, <laughs> but... No, uh, you're gonna All do... right, so I just like is it like a twisty thing? Yeah, just do like a nice twist. I perfect. Feel like You're ball. that's yeah, oh yeah, perfect. Look at that. All right. And then we have here some Can I put see? the fluff down? You can put them. Yeah. Should I? Uh, then we have our graham cracker crumbs right yes. here, and we're going oh, dude, to this is awesome. dip it in that. So you have a nice little graham cracker right, marshmallow I'm fluff. Going in. Don't stop. All right. Do it. Boom. I'm giving you music. That was good. <laughs> All right, and then what we're going to do is, now this is where it gets complicated. Yes, please. All right, we're going to take our whipped cream vodka. I love all of this. <laughs> all of it. And we You're doing are great going work. to, thank you. We're going to do. all of the work. <laughs> and You're doing truth. 100% of all the good work. <laughs> we're going to do two ounces of whipped cream vodka. Schmounces? Schmounces. So that was about three ounces, actually. Yeah, yeah. But you know, or we're we're all about healthy pores. Yeah, yeah. Schmouncing. Hashtag schmounces. I I have no idea. <laughs> schmounces. It's not a real ounce. It's like a heavy pour ounce. So you got to give it a fun new name. Schmounces. It's branding. Oh, okay. We're branding mix and mingle right now. Yeah. So we are now taking. I, mean, I may be drunk, but I'm you know reasonably confident. <laughs> Whoa. I'm That's good. I'm That's good. That's good. All right. So like right here, <laughs> I know. Right here, we have about three tablespoons of pumpkin puree. I like it. And then we are taking about a half ounce of vanilla. I'm just doing a free pour here because ah, that's a, a little more. Schmounce. That's a little much. Schmounces. A half schmounce. All right. That's what am take, I missing here, Dave? What take, am I missing? I don't know. Oh, I'm just I know what I'm missing. I have it out. I'm Dave, and I'm in frame right now. We've missed you so much. How was that? Was that good? Did that I was perfect. Time? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. All right. Now we're going to take pumpkin spice eggnog, which I found at what? Publix. Where else? So uh, this is in the like milk and creamer section, yep, yep. in case you're wondering. And we're going to take... <laughs> we're going to do about... Uh, Sorry, I'm trying to like add it in it's, my head. Okay. We're on four schmounces right now. <laughs> it shows it on the recipe. Yes. I, I, I'm too busy counting here. It's okay. in the lower third. We're gonna do one more oh, schmounce. It's, oh, no. One more schmounce. Oh, I love this. It's getting it's getting creamy. No, it's fine. <laughs> That's just Alright, so now I'm going to be brave and use the blender, which if you are a fan of the show... Which I am. Uh, yes, there we go. Let's do it. Uh, I am being daring. Um, the last time we used the blender, things didn't work out so well. If you know what I'm... If you don't know what I'm talking about, go please watch look the up old shows. on YouTube. It's wonderful. Uh, Mix and Mingle Season 1, Season Episode 1. So this All right. is the first time you've used the blender since then? This is the first time. Oh, oh, oh what's the over-under on this is going to go terrible? <sighs> well, well, 50-50? 80-20. 50-50. Um, is 80 bad? Is, uh, okay. Schmounces. Schmounces. Okay. So now we're going to blend here. Yeah. Give us a little music, Dave. Over the blender? <laughs> it's just going to sound like death metal. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's like a vacuum cleaner music. <laughs> that looks good. You know what it sounds like? The drone of a bagpipe. Yes. You're just placating me at this point. I think I that's am. sweet. Uh, <laughs> I think that's really nice of you. So I Even will... though that was an accurate music reference, uh, I like the condescension. Now, Dave, I, I do have to reveal something. We're um, going to burn the fluff I, I... to give it that like s'morey type of taste. Oh, Oh. I uh, I have not been drinking this one religiously the past few days like I have the others. So um, if it's disgusting, I'm sorry. No, no, no. <laughs> this will be fine. I think we should just do... We did this last episode where we kind of tested a drink out on screen. Maybe each episode we need to do like a... Yeah, just a, like a roulette drink. Yeah. 
And then we tell you if it's good or not. So, oh, I'm uh, dripping. No, no, I'm no. dripping. Nobody knows that you're dripping but you. You're fine. <laughs> it's fine. Nobody knows. Don't give, don't give away all the secrets. Mm. Did you like the idea of like like setting the marshmallow on fire a little? I did. Um, yeah. However, I will probably singe my turkey legs off <laughs> if I do true. that. So, <laughs> let's keep the fire uh, away from me. You know what? You're right. I, I'm sorry I doubted you. <laughs> All right, so we have our nice, beautiful. Oh, what are you doing? You have that. You have I, a drink. Well, I felt bad. It was All like right. it was placed there specifically for visual things. I didn't. Know. I feel okay. like I let you down again. There we go. You're Let's fine. Do it. You're no, fine. Good. You're washed up rock star, you. Aww. All right, we've got our beautiful pumpkin pie shooters now. Are they going to be as delicious as they look? Yes. Well, before we head into uh, Shotland. Shotland. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a fun amusement park. I am there. I since we are so over on time, we and are. you guys have been hanging in there with us the whole time, and I appreciate you. I want to say first and foremost, thanks to our guests. Thank you so much for uh, tuning in week after week here on uh, Mix and Mingle. Um, please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, VPN Foundation, so you don't miss a, a show. Ugh. Get all tongue tied. You're doing great. You're doing great. And <laughs> Fierce gaze. Fierce gaze. Do it. Okay. Do I just look like I'm no, no, pooping it, my pants it's, it's right a, now? It's okay. A, it's a confidence. Uh, so, <laughs> a big thank you to the VPN Foundation for making our show possible. A big thank you and cheers to our producer, Von Reed. A big thank you and cheers to Mr. Dave Russell for being on the show tonight. You! You invited me and I am so glad you did. Thank you for doing an amazing job and literally the work of two people. Thank you. you. Crushed it. Thank you. Crushed it. So, uh, all right, continuing on. Big thank you and cheers to Code Rum. Keep to the code, guys. Thanks for making delicious drinks for us this evening. Uh, I mean, I made them, but you provided the booze. Uh, <laughs> Way to also, make it about you. a reminder, drink responsibly. Unless, like Dave said, you're in your house, you have nowhere to go, then drink as much as you want. Let those uh, pours... For themselves. Schmounces. Schmounces. <laughs> so, uh, that being said, I think I hit everything, right, PA Dom? Yeah. All right. Well, then, here we go. Oh, mm. one more thing. A big happy Thanksgiving to everyone out there. Enjoy uh, Turkey Day. Gobble, gobble, as my hat would say. And uh, we'll see you here live next Tuesday, 9 p.m. And with that... Let's do this. Laham. <laughs> Oh, it doesn't make it clinky because of no, the marshmallow. No, because of the Wait, marshmallow. Wait, hit the bottom. Hit the bottom. There we go. <laughs> it's good. It's good. I liked it. Make it. I'm in. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to chew on this. <laughs> All right. I'm not bad. See you next week, guys. Bye, guys. Bye. It's good. That's oh, good yeah. dessert. Yeah. This is really